Hey everybody, Palm Springs, Cindy and Poppy. <laughs> she just, she saw me go on, uh, sit down here at the table. So she knew I was going to do a video. Poppy, do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello to your followers? Or are you just going to kiss me? Hmm? So Poppy says hello. Yes, you guys, she is getting bigger. And I still have to give her her DNA test. But I have it because she has to, um, oops, I have to put the swab, the inside of her mouth for 30 seconds. And I'm not going to be, I don't think I'm going to be, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. But, um, so, oh, sweetheart, it's hard for me to hold you and talk. So, um, oh, I've got, let's see if I can show her to you guys. See how she gets up here on my lap like this. Uh, uh, to let me know that she she wants me to hold her. Well, because it's getting cooler outside, the other day I took I put Poppy in the car and we we I Googled dog parks in my area. I took her to a dog park and it was such a nice dog park. There was one lady with her dog there and my me and Poppy. And the Poppy played with this dog. It was a border collie and the border collie, the lady was throwing the frisbee for the dogs and Poppy was just in heaven. She listened to her. She ran and ran. Hey. Hi, little skinny girl. Oh, you're all wet. You're having so much fun. You guys, I'm. I just came to lay down on my couch, and I, <laughs> I forgot another whole section I was going to add to this video. So after, after Poppy and I left the um, dog park, uh, we were very near, well, we were at uh, Old Town La Quinta. So we stopped at uh, Roadrunner and had lunch. And they actually had a dog menu. <laughs> and so I got Poppy something from the dog menu. She had... Uh, uh, well, I, I forget what it was, but I, I think I have a video of it. So anyway, that video is coming up. Our lunch at in Old Town at the Roadrunner. This is Old Town La Quinta, or at least uh, this is across the street from Roadrunner, the restaurant where um, Poppy and I had lunch. Isn't this sweet? And this, I turned around and tried to take a picture of the restaurant, but that's is all I got. And then that was Poppy at the when we got home. She was pooped. Look at her. She fell asleep on the couch. Well, I want to give you um, an update on what's going on with my home. Things are happening. Let's see. Today, the uh, the pedestal <laughs> the pedestal to my dining room table arrived. So um, David, the a guy that's been helping me, the handyman, he was able to put my the top with the pedestal. And, uh, and so that's put together. And then he also hung my chandelier. And da, 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 the, my rug was supposed to come in today, they called me and said, can you know, we don't have your couch, but we have the rug. Would you take it? Partial delivery kind of a thing. I was like, yeah. Well, anyway, I was here all day and they didn't come. So, you know, go figure. Maybe they'll arrive tomorrow. And I, let's see what else. Oh, my bed frame came in. It's still in the box and David was going to put it together, but he, it took him plenty, a long time to do, the, to put the table together and to, 
in order for the chandelier to be centered over my dining room table, we had to, he had to drill another hole in the ceiling and then rewire and then drywall and patch it all up again. So he did all of that today. So he did not have time to put my bed frame together. That's fine, we'll do that another day. After he left, I went around, I'm so proud, <laughs> so proud of myself. I went around and I pulled out the, if there were any remaining nails in the wall from removing uh, pictures or art from the wall, I pulled those nails out and then I, I um, filled them with that, you know, that gooey stuff that you, you fill, <laughs> fill the wall holes with. And then those will be dry tomorrow and then I can touch them up with paint. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure I have all the paint that, you know, like for the wall, this wall or that wall, I've got the, the remaining paint to be able to do that. So hopefully I can do that tomorrow. And I'm kind of thinking and wishing maybe I can find a friend and we could put my um, bed frame together. I don't know, we'll see. So, all right, so you get down. So my headboard is supposed to arrive the end of November. And the lady from Ethan Allen said that, they're, that they think my couch will be ready like in a week or so, which would, I mean, I, I was told Christmas. So, I mean, I was like, what? I'm so jazzed. Honey, it's okay. Oh my gosh. I put her down. She just wants to get back up. Okay, come on. So, so anyway, that's sort of the update on my house. I'm not going to show any more pictures because it's just, I'm going to wait till it's, it's finished. I'm going to wait till it's finished. And let's see. I, okay, you guys, the strangest thing is happening. I'm having a full on home invasion. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have pictures of it. I'll see if I can add the pictures to this video. Um, the, I'm gonna say like maybe a week or so ago, um, I had my patio door all the way open and I was outside on, on my patio. It was later in the day, but it was still daylight. And so I, you know, I was enjoying being outside. Don't, you know, I don't know what I was doing, but I came in and there were hundreds of these little black bugs. They looked like pepper, like somebody had poured pepper, a little bit bigger than pepper on my countertops. Now my countertops are white. So the, the black bugs really showed up. So I was like, what is, what is that? And I'm like looking up, I'm looking down, like where is this coming from? At first I thought maybe it was ash or something. I, I don't know, but you know, it took me a nanosecond to figure out it, they were bugs. And some of them, most of them were dead. But some of them were still like kind of jerky. They, they're some type of a little beetle. They've got a hard shell. Hi. Honey, no, you stay there. Oh my goodness. So anyway, I was like, oh my God, what is this? They were on all my countertops. So I got a paper towel, I wiped everything off, got them all, drowned them all, threw them in the trash, you know, real, sanitized my countertops. Okay, thought that. So I took pictures before I did that. I went back outside. I probably had come in to get a drink or something. Went back outside, came back in like not even 10 minutes later. And the cupboards, were, the countertops were full of those black bugs again. I was like, I've never seen anything like it. Two more pictures, wiped everything off, called a friend. All right, come here. Called a friend, showed him the pictures and said, what in the world is going on? Well, anyway, he gave me his best judgment. And then uh, we, and then sure enough, you know, I called Terminex is my, um, you know, bug are my bug people. So I called Terminex. They sent somebody out and then the next day or two. And uh, they, I showed them the pictures. Oh, uh, my friend said, shut your door. Because remember, I had my door wide open because I was out on my patio. He said, shut your door. So after I cleaned all the bugs off the second time, I had the door shut and they didn't, they did not come back in. So I thought, okay, well that, you know, that's, a done deal. You know, keep my door shut. Something's going on outside. Well, anyway, you know, it's beautiful outside, for, especially in the evenings. And so I do have, 
I st started opening my door. I got the bugs back again. Not as many. I, I think by this time that guy had come and sprayed. I showed them the bug pictures. You know, they were like, I don't know what it is. Okay, so anyways, they're starting to get bad again, aren't they? Yes, they are. And so I called the people, the Terminex people, and a gentleman came out two days ago. And I showed them the pictures, and I said, now they tend to be just around in this particular area. I have a, I have a philosophy why they're just in that area. So anyway, he sprayed specifically for what he thought those might be. Well, okay, so that was a couple days ago. Now they're, they're back. And the craziest thing, you guys, I'm embarrassed to tell you this, but I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I have a witness because David the Handyman was here today. I went to my sink in the, this afternoon and you're not going to believe this. There was this little tiny, in fact, I have a picture of it. I'll share, I'll show you guys. This little tiny, it was like half an inch long, little tiny worm that was hanging from my ceiling over my sink. It was hanging like on a, like on a spider web thread, only you couldn't even see the spider web, web thread. But it had to have been. Who else makes, makes, um, webs. You guys, it's this, it's like the strangest, craziest thing. So anyway, I called my friend again, showed him the picture, showed him the picture of the worm. I said, do you think this worm has something to do with these beetles? These little tiny beetles? I'm calling them beetles because that's what I think they are, but I have no idea. And I mean, they're like an ant, but they have a hard shell on them. So I mean, he was like, I don't know, but Anyway, he said Terminex will be right, will be out there again as soon as they can get there. Actually, he said, give it some time. If he just sprayed a couple days ago, give that some time. He sprayed inside, he sprayed outside. Well, and then I bought, I got a, my new patio rug arrived. So I moved my furniture out, took out the old rug, put the new rug down. Well, there were tons of ant farms um, underneath my old rug. Okay, I, I, you know, hosed everything off. Well, son of a gun, they're popping up all over again, right outside the rug. And, um, oh my gosh, she wants to take this pin. So, uh. So what the, what good does my Terminex people? I don't get it. I mean, aren't, isn't that aren't they supposed to die? I don't I don't get it. So anyway, that is I'm going to add pictures of the bugs. You guys, maybe you guys know what they are. I've never seen anything like it. All righty. Um, so that's sort of the update on my house now, and the sort of a little poppy update too, and a, a bug update. Now, I, I, you know, I really, um, I'm in the middle of finishing up a video, a review video on some face products that I've been enjoying. And so I had my, my lighting up and everything. So I thought I want to make a, a quick video for my YouTube girlfriends. And okay, the only other thing I really want to share with you guys, I, I have a couple things that I've watched on television, like either Netflix or Amazon that I want to share with you that are good. So one of them is, it's called, in fact, I've watched it twice, Woman in Gold. Now you may have seen it, you may have passed it through, passed over it. Woman in Gold, it's a true story, it's fabulous. Ryan Reynolds is in it, Katie Holmes, and then the, the 
the older woman that's my age, um, dang, I forgot her name. Anyway, it's very good. So that's, you know, and it's family friendly. So you can watch that with, with the family. And another one that's very good, it's also family friendly, is called um, Bletchley, Sir, the Bletchley B-L. E-T-C-H-L-E-Y, Circle. And uh, you can find it on, I think it's PBS. But I think I went on my Amazon Prime and then I also have a membership to PBS. So it was on that. You could probably find it anywhere, but it's Bletchley Circle. It's really good. It's about women after World War II a group of women who work come together and work together uh, to solve a, a situation. So I loved the fashion, the dresses that they wore, their hairstyles, and it takes place in London and the scenery, the background and everything is really good. When I say the background, I mean like, you know, the, where it takes place. It's great to look at the buildings and the cars and all that. So. It's, it's very good. And it's a true story. I think it's a true story. Poppy, I have to put you down. Another good show, but have Kleenex ready, is called Beyond the Blackboard. It's family friendly. It's, I think it's a Hallmark movie. It's so good. And I'm, I'm trying to see here if I wrote down where I saw it. I think I found it on YouTube. Um... It, I'm pretty sure it is a Hallmark movie. So Beyond the Blackboard, it's so good. You've got to see it. And then one more. It's a mini series, and I watched. I I just um, what's it called when you you know I power watched it or binge watched it all I think in one or two days. And it's called. It's I think it's old, and you guys may have seen it, but it's called Backstairs at the White House. It's very good. It is like I said. It's a mini series. You can find it on YouTube, and it's about this woman who works at the White House, and she works there for so many years. She goes through all these presidents. So from our from our perspective, we get to learn from, from her point of view what the presidents and their wives and families were really like, because she, she, you know, she doesn't say anything bad or anything, but... You, she does share, like in this president, like for example, when um, Eisenhower was president, she said, um, I feel like I'm in the army. <laughs> and and so anyway, it's very good. And it's uh, family, like I said, family friendly. It, it's just, it's excellent. So I hope you guys uh, uh, have the time to, to check these movies and miniseries out. You won't be sorry. Okay, you guys, I really, you know, this is just going to be a short video. Speaking of short video, you know, YouTube is all over these YouTube shorts. And they keep sending people like me. Honey, I know, I know. I'm going to share this. Look at her. She's, this is what she does. See, she, and then she talks to me. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, yeah, she do. <laughs> So, um, uh, okay, what was I saying? So YouTube is all over having, they want the uh, people that make videos to make shorts. Well, I, I haven't really, you know, I don't, I have to investigate it. And I, you know, I'm just so comfortable already with what I just do. And, but I'll have to, you know, r read about it and educate myself because they're really kind of, they're not pushing us, but they want us, they want to be like TikTok. TikTok, and that's all. I think that's all I've got for you. Yes, I love you. Until our next conversation. Bye bye. I actually hung up, and then as I was as I was wrapping things up and cleaning off my little desk area, I forgot to share this one uh, item with you. So I want to be sure and let you guys and tell you about this. Well, I've shared some uh, shows for you to watch on TV that I've seen, and they're excellent. Well, there is this uh, show on YouTube, and I don't know if you've seen it or not, or if you're familiar with it, but you, you will be when I finish. 
there is a, a young man, you know, he's not real young, but you know, he's, he's not, not middle-aged and his name is Yoel and he is from Cuba, Cuba. And he's married to this gal and they, he has come over to America. He finally got to America evidently. And so she has, she has been doing a series of YouTube videos on Yoel, Yoel's firsts. So the, you like, so you might, so it might say, I actually have it pulled up here. So for example, Yoel's first time at a grocery store and he just cannot believe it. He cannot believe how much food is in a grocery store. Yoel's first time at In-N-Out and he had an In-N-Out burger and he, he just can't believe how good the In-N-Out burger is. Uh, Yoel's first trip to Costco. Once again, he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And you know, he touches and he looks and, and his attitude is so endearing. And because he's so endearing and of course enthusiastic and his eyes are just huge, he, um, he, he, I don't know about you, but I hope you do watch a couple of these videos, but he makes me feel very, very appreciative of living in America, which I already am. But when you watch these videos, it just brings it to light again, how, what a blessed country we are in so many ways. And part, part of the videos are, they will, like there's one, uh, uh, Yoel goes to PetSmart. And he, you know, oh, he loves PetSmart. He just, you know, can't believe everything that we have for the dogs and the animals. And so then they do a little um, video of Cuba and how they, how pets work in Cuba. That there's, you know, there's hardly any kind of uh, great food. He says, you really eat a lot of beans and rice and maybe you get meat once or twice a week. Maybe that was it. And... And so he said, so then the, you know, the commentator was like, well, what are your pets? What do your dogs eat? Because Cubans are very, they, they enjoy their dogs for pets. So anyway, they, you know, he talks about that. It's uh, his, Yoel's first time um, at his first steak, his first Home Depot, um, his first supermarket. I mentioned that. Uh, then they talk about communism to capitalism. So it's a little bit of a history lesson. You know, I love history, but it's very real and you'll really like this couple. Yoel is the man from Cuba and you'll really like his wife as well. So I hope you guys go on YouTube and enjoy watching those videos.